there will be times where there will be highs there will be lows there will be things that will not turn out your way but you know what matters the more most is showing up every day you so much for like you know bringing me here it's it's a immense pleasure that i've been invited on a platform like this where you have had an impact like for considerable 2 years like it's a pleasure to be here uh, introducing myself um, like hello i'm drashti sha and uh, i am a chartered accountant and lawyer by profession i have around like 7 to 8 years of experience specifically in direct tax domain and um, like you know being in this field for a, a very like you know very lengthy amount of time i realized that And MSMEs today, they are very highly dependent on us, that is, the chartered accountants, for getting their day-to-day -day accounting done. Like they would uh, have, like you know, either paper printed invoices, and they would, uh, like you know, do it all manually, and they would get their bill book, sales books, etc., purchase register, give it to their CA, and ask them to pass the journal entries, etc. Uh, and there were a lot of issues connected to that, and therefore I decided to start an organization called as a build a product called as Bare Book Accounting Software. so this is the uh, this is the venture that i started out with and uh, giving an introduction is like uh, basically for using bare book you don't need accounting knowledge all you need to do have is basic uh, english knowledge and you should be knowing what you're doing like basic sales what is sales what is purchase etc and you can just go on you're not you, you can you can just add your ca uh, you can just invite your ca and he can view it from wherever you want or wherever he wants it's all on cloud so this uh, especially during the covid we saw a rise in acceptance in these cases because you know people could not move from one place to another and it was very difficult for them to you know always keep on sending scanned files of invoices because they would be running into thousands so this was an uh, like you know this was this found uh, its place in covid uh, like even much more uh, compared like in just how the, just the way the soil cup did so i think we share a similar journey yeah how is it different than yeah. uh, zoho So, uh, like Zoho is a bit uh, clunky. Like you know, you have to have a little bit of knowledge about like you know where things go, where and like you know what it is. Earlier, Zoho was uh, like you know Zoho has raised its prices and like you know it's a little expensive now. Like our product is comparatively way more cheaper. Also, it has this mobile application which is also very smooth and easy to use. And uh, more importantly, uh, like you know, one of the things that uh, like you know my uh, clients of earlier use Zoho is we are much more receptive to feedback. because we are a small organization and not a big organization you tell us something uh, you can be sure that can it can be live in a day or two or maybe three so all these things because we are a small team working for actually for the customers and not a big organization where there are a lot of hierarchies it makes us convenient to them and they are much like, we are much more approachable even if like you know even if they have anything related to tax or anything so I'm also a lawyer by profession so if they have anything related to those lines they just be like okay drashti can you solve this for us look okay, how am i supposed to do this or how am i supposed to do that whereas a zoho customer support team or any other big business team they have separate vertical like saying uh, we're going to do this and there is a customer support team and then there is like no chartered accountant is going to be there for your customer support basically but um, since this is the problem that i wanted to solve and it's not just a product that i wanted to do like just for making money it has a special place in my heart and i'm very passionate about it and you can take away anything but not my passion so what is the kind what is the pricing because uh, zoho books for an individual is about 3000 rupees so what is your so, uh, mine is 2000 annually uh, so this is the pricing and um, not just that like you know you also have if if you if you don't have a chartered accountant you can uh, like you know we have a couple of chartered accountants listed on our forum you can just reach out to us if you want to have somebody local we have a database wherein we can tell you okay you can reach out to this guy we know him because i already have a network of chartered accountants and lawyers with me and i can I, I, you know if somebody is like i have i think i have an issue with customs or i think i have an issue with fema or transfer pricing mm -hmm. so this is how um, like we want our customers to succeed in whatever way possible it just doesn't end at an accounting software it just starts with it is what i want to tell yes and, and it's not that you have to come to us as a chartered accountant because like you know our purpose is not to have this as a backward integration accounting our purpose is to uplift the chartered accountants also if you have local chartered accountants i suggest them like you know you should definitely go to them because you know that face to face interaction knowing the local market what are the things going on can be much more beneficial to that msme rather than having a chartered accountant in the cloud so when you, when you started the whole journey 
I'm sure because you being a chart with content, do not belong to the IT background. Yeah. Must have faced your set of challenges. So, would you like to discuss and how did you overcome them? Uh, so I'll be very honest with you. I hated tech. I was not at all adopted to tech. Tech. I'll tell you. Even today, I'm the one who uses diaries. Like I have three diaries on my, uh, like you know, this right now. And uh, like you know, initially, uh, me and my, and I've not met my tech team entirely. I've just met met this one person once, and we do everything on phone because, uh, like in a Google Doc, etc. Because I am not a person as who is going to be like adopt to tech easily or anything. I would make everything on pen and paper. Uh, and share how the information workflow is so one thing was uh, you know first is finding somebody who believes in your idea believes in that passion in you and convincing the, you know that the value should align like my co-founder also had a side hustle no not a side hustle this was his side hustle he also had a full fledged business so even he was okay not making money out of it but he also had this passion that we shared like uh, he said he has the finance sector is broken he had he himself had his issues while taking loans etc when he is like compulsorily you have to get the three uh, last year return filings etc he said i have just started a business if i would have been doing it for 3 years i didn't want to learn so uh, it's like a vicious cycle if you see it like if you have this then you can get this but for that to have you need to have this so all these things were there and we both were very passionate about it so i would uh, like ironic as it may sound i would do everything on pen and paper i would like you know not interfere in his product decisions i just want the product to work fine like if i am saying ki uh, like in a passing a journal entry i know where its effects should be if that works fine you take care of the design you take care of the development i will just see if the product works so that gave me um, an edge in two ways first is it like saved a lot of communication to and fro we both had a separate uh, departments to take care of like i was the one who, who was in charge of uh, taking care of the, how the information flow is and he was the one who took care of the design so even if i don't like a font if i don't like a color i'm like it's up to you i just want the product to work and he would put in his best efforts because he knew it was his responsibility to make it work and uh, that kind of that kind of independence gave him a different level of confidence and uh, he was very happy we both were very happy with the outcome so it may look like you know being a non tech person it is a little difficult to build tech products but all you have to do is people who find people who believe in you and put in that hard work it took us 3 years to build that product but you just put in that hard work and uh, i think it's all worth the time and money invested whatever it is in the long run so what is the customer base now and uh, how do you see yourself uh, you know a year from where or two years from where we want to uh, take it uh, pan india or global I mean, how what is the whole vision all about for your uh, tech uh, initiative uh, yeah so uh, like we wanted to expand and what we had done was uh, like we have customers in different sectors etc right now we are not a full fledged into marketing like we don't spend a diamond dollar on marketing we just let it grow organically through word of mouth because uh, of growing for, you know if you force people to buy your product and if they are like if they're just experimenting and if they're not in the right frame of mind to buy the product they are the ones who are the most dissatisfied customers you cannot push a product like this which they're going to use every single day for like 2 to 3 hours a day down their throat so you have to be not you cannot be salesy you have to be uh, like you love the product you see you experimented for a while and then you if you like it you know you want to you want to do this because it's a long time commitment in changing an accounting software is not something that you do every day so you know we provide we enable our customers to take the right decision you know sometimes there are supermarkets who are approaching to us or uh, say medical shops and we say okay this product is not for you sorry you have a lot of stock and because i think you you should choose a product which has more like a barcode etc and that would be more useful to you and then they are like okay fine so we want our customers to succeed and not for them to use our products so i wouldn't go on the numbers or like the customer base etc but i can definitely show you my vision so we want this a bear book to be not just bear book like we have a couple of other products like crm etc we had built an entire uh, package for msmes we are working on that we are working on global markets but bear book is uh, the product that we started with it's a baby and that we want to take it to pan india and we want the customers especially like you know the economy that we live in today is a creator economy most of the people i know have a side hustle they have a job and they have something to do at their side and that you know in creating invoices creating like you know a make doing that purchase order having a track of all of it making sure that they are not just wasting time and making actual money out of it and because there's less of time they need to focus on which customers are important to them 
so all these things it has to be data driven it has to be less time consuming and it has to be done efficiently by less number of people if you just go on these three aspects and you try to solve customer problems uh you know it's it's good uh, i mean that is what the customers want so our vision is to just enable it just to be like the microsoft word or excel uh, like you know, anybody who is facing this issue should be able to have a solution and which is not like you know, without spending a bomb on it and um, you know what the best part is like up, even if you have like five or six users for a product like you know you're not maybe you're not an individual you are a corporate and you know you this pricing is still the same for you so that is what it is and i think uh, maybe sometimes you know people feel it's a cheap product and you know it might not be beneficial but you know what uh, it's not cheap it's cheap because of you but there are a lot of people in rural india who for them 2000 rupees is a lot of money and we are catering to them too so that's how it is you know, you, you uh, making an invoice the word file converting it to pdf, PDF. Yeah. does not give a good feel because uh, you know what 2000 rupees is hardly worth Okay, so it's a fabulous uh, space that you've got into, and there are not many players. So we wish you a very, very bright future in your uh, venture. Yeah, thank you so much. Right, and uh, there's one thing that we would request you that you know there are many entrepreneurs. So you you have seen your struggle, and and being an entrepreneur is a daily struggle, right? So you you cannot say yeah. I'm, I'm done for the day or done for the uh, project. So there's a daily struggle. So, what is your message to those fellow entrepreneurs who probably, uh, you know, uh, one success mantra, a takeaway from your side? Then, of the first one that you know, I always stick by is stay consistent, because uh, you know there will be times where there will be highs, there will be lows, there will be things that will not turn out your way. But you know, what matters the most most is showing up every day, sitting in front of the computer, getting things done. because no matter what that is something that god watches and you know you work is worship and you need to be very ethical and honest in what you do so thank you so much sara like you were a delight talk to thank you